guys welcome back to another video hope you're doing well thank you so much guys for coming back my name is Cynthia if you're coming across my video for the first time you're highly welcome to my returning subscribers I love you guys so much thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video thank you so much for your support and love towards this channel I can love you guys less in today's video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this uh, short cow kaftan dress I have a similar video in my channel, but this is a little bit different. Oh, yeah, that's what we're going to be making today. We're going to be using two and a half yards of um, scuba fabric for this video. This is a middle weight scuba fabric. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and fold our fabric. So I'm using two and a half yards. So I'm going to be folding it this way into two. Now I'll fold it again. Now I have my fabric folded into four. So we'll go ahead and then place the measurement. We don't need much measurement for this kind of dress. So first thing I will do is to place the shoulder and the sleeve. We're cutting out the shoulder and the sleeve together. So to get the shoulder, it depends on how long you want this side to be. You will measure it right from your back neck to where you want it to be. For me, I want it to be here. This place will be fitted. I can push it inside and then bring it out the way I want. So I want it to be 29 inches. And we go to this side and then mark 29 inches. The fabric I'm making use of is 16 inches by length. So this is 29 inches. I'll place the neckline. I'll be using three and a half inches for the neck width. That is the wideness of the neck, three and a half inches. inches. So I will use one and a half inches for the back depth, and six inches for the front depth. The front is V neckline. I will curve the neckline. The back neckline is round neckline. You can use any neckline. You can still make use of V neckline if you like. For the back side, so for the front, this V neckline will connect it like so. I'm going to be splitting the front part into two. So I will go to the ends here where my 29 inches ends and mark my shoulder slope. I will be taking 1.5 inches for the shoulder slope. So we connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. So now we take the armhole, you measure your round armhole like so. So for me I have nine inches. I will divide nine inches by two. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So I will place 4.5 inches here. Now add half inch for sewing allowance because I want this part here to be fitted. The fabric is stretchy. Normally we don't need sewing allowance. So I have 5 inches here. That's the arm opening. So I will look for the hip measurement. From shoulder to hip is 25 inches plus sewing allowance. So I'll place a quarter of the hip circumference measurement here. The hip is 46 inches divided by 4 is 11 and a half inches. You can add maybe 1 inch to it. It's a stretchy fabric. Normally if you want it a little bit free, you can just add 1 inch here just because of the damp part here. So I'll be making it um, 11 and a half inches or I'll make it 13 inches. So I'll be making it 13 inches. If it's big, I can reduce it. So I will go to the damp part here. That's the main reason I'm placing the hip measurement. I'll still place 13 inches here. I'll connect it. So what I'm going to do is to connect this here just to make a round curve here and connect it to this damp part here. Before I will do that, I will go up by five or six inches right from the bottom part here. The length of my 
dress is 41 and a half inches or is one inch for sewing allowance right on this place here we go up by six inches so what i'm going to do next is to connect it just go inside a little bit here then connect it like so round to meet this and just go inside a little bit here and take it like so connect it to meet this this six inches so I went inside a little bit by one or two inches and take it from there to meet it here I'll make it come here So that's just it. I will go ahead and they cut it like so. I will cut the back neckline. I will be cutting out the front one later on. So I will bring the front part out and cut out the V neckline. Cut it out and split it into two. You will split the front part into two. So that's it for the cutting. We'll go ahead and put the fabric together. I will still be joining this front part anyway. So I will go ahead and hem the neckline. I will use half inch to hem the neckline. I will take a quarter of an inch twice and hem it. I will do the same thing for this side. I will also hem the back neckline. First, I will use the overlock machine for the neckline, then fold it inside like so. Hem it round. So, guys, I'm done hemming the neckline. So, this is the front neckline. I've also hemmed the back. So. I'll go ahead and join the front together. I will match them together, right side facing right side. I will stitch it with half inch from here up to here. I'll be making a front slit. I will leave about um, six inches slit, and I will leave about five to six inches open. That's the front side. I'll be making a slit here. I will sew it with half an inch right from here, the neckline, up to here. So guys, I'm done joining the front together. And this is the front slit. So this is the slit. So I hem it inside. We're almost done, guys. What we are going to do next is to join the front and the back together. So I will lay the front and the back against each other, right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join the shoulders. This side also. Then use one inch to join the side. I will take it from here and bring it down to the bottom part. I will do the same thing for this side. So after I've done that, I will use half inch to hem the bottom. And we are done. So guys, I finished joining the front and the back together. This is the sleeve. This sleeve is very fitted. If I want to pull it, I can pull it up. You can as well leave it like that if you want to. It's a stretchy fabric. If you want to pull it, you can pull it off. You can leave it like that. This is the bottom part. 
and ignore the stain this is water stain from the pressing iron it's going to dry up later on this is the side this is the back side very quick and they easy to make is a simple dress we have come to the end of today's tutorial guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're here for the first time i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching i love you bye